we bought it 12 years ago it was a small hotel and it was called Northley House and we ran it as that for about six years. A guest happened to leave a newspaper open with an article about a child in Cornwall, a 15 year old, and she jumped from a motorway bridge with her teddy in one hand and her mobile in the other and she'd left a note saying she had to escape the fear. And I said, well, we, we ought to be doing something about that. Um, so we put all the things in place that we needed and more besides. And to date, we've had nearly 40 children uh, through the school and everyone has had a successful result. Today, we've seen the fact that they support body children out of mainstream school and actually take them out, bring into a, a more one-to-one -one tuition. It's able to put them back on their feet, uh, get them back into employment, get them back to sixth form college, and there's some absolutely wonderful stories about the work that gets done here. The staff here are superb. They work very hard, they're very patient. So I've worked for TNT for nearly 20 years now, and throughout that time, TNT has also worked with the Wooden Spoon. And in that time, we've generated over three and a half million pounds for disabled and disadvantaged children. Money is raised throughout the entire UK that is contributed to the wooden spoon and injected back into the local community. To me and to all of the staff here, the, the, the thing is to give them a chance, to give a child a chance, a, a, an opportunity to be the best that they can be. Um, you can see the money you raise actually goes into changing a uh, children's life. Um, actually seeing the support they get through the money you've raised um, just makes you inspire you to go and do it again. And without Wooden Spoon and TNT, who've done so much for us, um, we, we wouldn't be in existence at all. We wouldn't be open, there is no doubt about that. Mm -hmm.